Hey everyone, it's Sarah at Repeat Crafter Me, and I am working on these adorable speckle bears. Let me bring the finished one here into view. This is, I'm calling this one the Christmas Confetti Bear because I just feel like this new Red Heart Super Saver Jumbo Speckle Yarn looks just like confetti. Perfect for these adorable amigurumi bears. I have the pattern already available on repeatcraftermead.com. So this one kind of reminds me of like Christmassy colors and then I have the white speckle yarn and this one's going to be the perfect little birthday bear. So I've already crocheted all the pieces and I know one of the most intimidating things about um, making crochet stuffed animals is piecing them together. Just finishing it and putting all these um, sewing all the arms on, sewing the legs, all of it. All right, so let me just go through it in this video with you. Uh, we might kind of fast forward a few parts, but I want to kind of lay out all the basics and make this easier for you guys. Um, so you'll have the main body. Uh, for this particular project, I'm going to be um, attaching the snout and the eyes before I finish stitching up the head. So I actually left myself kind of a good amount of yarn here so we can finish crocheting it and stuffing it. So that'll be the first thing we do. And I've already made the arms and the legs, and I've already stuffed these with the polyfill fiber stuffing. Okay, so those should be ready to go. And then here's the little tail that's going to go on the back side. And then I have the ears. I made two of them and you don't need to stuff these at all. So again, pattern is on repeatcraftermy.com. I will leave the links so you can make all these parts. And then if you feel like you need to refer to this video, you can. All right, so let's just get right to it. I have the snout. I've already attached um, the safety nose here. Uh, if you aren't comfortable with safety eyes and noses, feel free to stitch that on with some black yarn or any other yarn um, that you like. And so we're just going to kind of place this on the head. Oh, here, let me mention something else. You're going to have a seam. It's not super visible, but I like to make sure that's on the back side of my bear. And then when I'm stitching on any pieces to the face, I have that nice kind of clean front surface. So I make sure the seam is in the back and you'll be able to tell because that's where you're joining. And then we're going to put this in the front and I'm going to start. Okay, so I'm just going to kind of lay it out right here. Looks absolutely perfect. Okay, and then you're going to grab your tapestry needles. I kind of have two here. This one is um, kind of a larger one. This is a smaller one. I'm going to try the smaller one first just because I feel like it's going to be easier to get in and out of these stitches, but um, the larger one will be easier probably to, oh, we're gonna need the larger one. I couldn't get that yarn through and I just <laughs> kind of made that, shredded that a little bit, didn't I? Okay, well, we're not off to a good start. I was trying to show you how easy this is and now look what I've done. All right, the yarn's frayed, so I'm using my bigger tapestry needle because I couldn't get it through the smaller one. All right, <laughs> you're just gonna loop that through. I hope I left a long enough tail. I'm gonna kind of hold this because I want the nose to be there. I'm not stuffing it yet, although you could. And then I'm just working right under, let's go to the next one, right under the um, edges of those single crochet stitches and then right down through the head portion. And then, then we're just gonna kind of go back and forth and do this. Just like so. Kind of just reposition it and make sure it's where you want it as you're going along. You can kind of use the lines here of your head. That's helpful. So I can tell kind of the area I'm working in so, okay, so I can see that my other stitches were along this kind of round. So let's just continue there just to make it consistent. Okay, and we're just gonna keep going. I actually may have to stuff this soon. I am gonna start stuffing it a little bit here just because I want it to hold shape and I wanna make sure I'm, 
I have kind of the right spot here. Okay. Okay, we're gonna try and hold this together and keep going. It's probably one of the more trickier ones. There's a good view, so you can see it's working right under there. Looks cute. Make sure just before you finish stuffing it, I mean, just before you finish closing it up, you have it stuffed to your liking. It's pretty good. Oh, I just made it with this yarn. That's where I started. Okay, perfect. So I'm just gonna weave this in real quick on the back side. And you can just leave that tail hanging out on the inside. Okay. So now you've got that cute little bear snout and the nose on there. So now let's take our, oh no, where'd my other safety eye go? Here it is. I got these 15 millimeter black safety eyes and I like to place them. Um, so once the snout is sewn on, I just kind of pop them in on either side. Make sure you're working along the same line there. And before you snap them in, just make sure you like where they are. I think that's pretty cute. All right, I'm happy with that. So you wanna take the plastic backs and you're just gonna press down until you hear that snap. Yeah. Okay, those are secured. So cute. Okay, now we can finish stuffing. Take a bunch of your polyfill. Let's just finish stuffing this head. Okay, I'm gonna stuff it a little bit more, but we're gonna just continue crocheting till we're closed. Well, till we're almost closed and then we'll finish stuffing it. So we're gonna do single crochet decrease, single crochet next. And we're just gonna repeat around. I'm using a size H crochet hook for this.
I just get a single crochet in each stitch around. If it's hard for you to make another round of decreases, here's my trick. I'm not gonna need this much yarn. Okay, so let's finish stuffing the head. And then I'll show you how to close it up. sure it's nice and stuffed. Okay. Just a little bit at a time until you feel like it's really stuffed the amount you want it. Okay, so let's stitch together the top. Again, that's too long. All right, where's my bigger end? There we go. Okay, we can move that over. All right, here we go. So I just take my tapestry needle and this loose end, and all I do is I work under the front loop of the stitches, doing two at a time, so working under two at a time and just pulling through. Kind of like you're making a single crochet decrease with your tapestry needle. You're just going to do that until the top is completely closed up. If you feel like you have some spaces you don't like, that's fine. You just keep kind of coming around. We're just going to stitch that up. Any kind of big spaces you feel like the polyfill might be seen through or come out of. We're just gonna go around kind of one more time here. Bring all those stitches together. There we go. You can do this a couple times and use it and use that technique in multiple areas. That's pretty good. All right, let's weave this in. So kind of in and out. I like to weave mine along the back side. That's kind of how I do it. And then I just clip it off so it's hidden. Oh, so cute. All right, let's add these ears. Okay, these arms and feet really want to get in my way. All right, let's grab that tapestry needle again. You do not need to stuff these. So kind of just pinch it closed. And I like to place the ears kind of forward a little bit, right kind of where the eyes are situated. One, two, three, about four rows down from top. Eh, about there. Okay, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to do one and then kind of use that as a marker for my next one. I'll show you what I mean. Okay, so I'm gonna do that. Where did I do my last one? Okay. I'm just kind of working under the stitches and then working under, I'll show you the backside in a second. 
and then I come back through to working right under the stitches under the stitches in the head and then back through the bottom of the ear see how this looks perfect so you can uh, kind of go back and forth just make sure these ends are secured down um, you could go back through this again I'm pretty happy I think I'm gonna leave it I'm not gonna go you could stitch it all the way back down just to make sure it's really secure I might just go back through this edge because I don't this looks a little loose so just make sure everything's really tight, especially if you're gifting this. You really don't want it obviously falling apart. Or if you're selling them, you don't want someone to purchase it and then have it completely fall apart on you. All right, so let's just weave this in. Okay, one ear done. Now, I can see the round of the head where I have that stitched. So I'm just gonna follow my finger around and I'm gonna make sure that the next ear starts right there. So I may just even do, 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 start it right there. Okay. I'm just gonna try and hold that there for a second. Okay, we're right, right here. Sorry if my, I'm shaking the table that the camera's attached to while I, I'll try not to do that. Let's see if I can kind of lean over and do this a little bit. I think I got it. And then here's where that other ear ended. It's right under kind of where that eye is. So I'm going to look over here. So I'm not going to want this ear to go past that. Okay, so just keep that in mind as you're stitching. Just make sure everything lines up. Other ear is on. All right, let's attach these arms. Okay, so the arms are gonna be attached kind of right where the head and the neck are. This was crocheted in one piece, but you can obviously see where the head starts there, where that neck is. Um, again, kind of look at your arm. Do you see where the seam is? Try and hide that kind of on the underside area. You don't have to, but these little details make a difference. To get rid of that smaller tapestry needle it's not going to work on this project we've decided all right so i'm just going to pinch the top closed again i already stuffed this and we're just gonna kind of 
line it up here, working under the tops of those stitches, and then under the stitches where that neck is. It's just going to stay there. Okay. There we go. I hope I'm getting through those back stitches. Yep, I am. All right, so I got that first arm on there, nice and secure. So we'll weave in that end. Okay, oh, sorry. All right, let's get our other arm. So same idea as the ears. So I kind of, I worked on this round, kind of started right there. So I want my other one to start kind of at that same spot on the other side. Making this symmetrical really helps the overall look of it. So try and get, you know, the ear, everything that you're making in a pair, try and have it. Oh, where's that? Yep, that's on the back side. Try and have it line up. Kind of on either side there at the same spot. Yeah, okay. Eek. I'm just trying to get my, my yarn and my needle under there. want to make sure this little edge here is stitched down. Now I think it is. All right. So I'm just weaving this in. Okay. Eek, we have these arms. They're so cute. Okay, the feet. Now I like to do my, my amigurumi like this so they can sit up so nicely. I'll show you on this one. I like where the feet stick out because once you sit it up, it gives it a lot of support, all right? Especially with the arms supporting and then the legs in the back like that. So doo -doo -doo, let's just take one. Let's see, so it's gonna be about like that so kind of just really on each side of the bear one two three and about four rounds Let's see if I can get this to balance from the top and just start stitching around using you know the stitches on the bottom of the bear the edge of your single crochets this is a good project um, my yarn stuck for those of you um, who kind of want to do basic um, amigurumi crochet stuffed animals, uh, because this is all made from single crochet stitches. So 
lot of repetition, a lot of parts that are the same. So once you do one, you can make another part. Okay. So I should mention, I didn't pinch this close, so I'm kind of leaving that opening and then just so that it's a little more stable. I know we pinched the arms closed, we pinched the ears closed, but here I'm kind of working around in a circle. And I think I'm back around. And. All right. Oh, you can't see that. There we go. So see how that's gonna work there? It's so cute gonna be perfect all right let's weave this guy in okay we've got one little leg on now let's attach the other one same idea all right just get my tapestry needle there we go Okay, so let's turn this over. One, two, three. Again, that fourth round there. I'm gonna place it about right there. I'm gonna try and hold it. I know it's really tricky. Sometimes you have to hold it against your body, which I can't really do right now because I'm on video and I'm trying to hold this kind of project out under the camera, but you can probably navigate this a little bit easier if you're not filming yourself. And get this stitched on similar to the other one. Eek. Okay. good here. Just try and get it the best match you can get. Okay, I think I got it. All right, so let's just move this in. It's all one color yarn, just with these fun little confetti speckles. So you can kind of just Freely weave it in how you like. Okay, we've got our ears, we've got our arms, we've got our feet. Can you see how they're kind of sticking out? Maybe not. But our bear can basically already sit up. And what's gonna help this guy even more is the tail. Don't forget about your little cute round bear tail. So that's just gonna be stitched on at the bottom of the back. Okay. So same idea, just place it towards the bottom there. In the middle, you hold it on. And you go. Or not, because I can't get my, come on.
tail is. I got one more stitch here. Maybe two. Yeah. There we go. I'm just going to weave that in. Okay. We are done. We've got our bear all together. I don't even know if you can see this whole, the whole guy here. Aw, look at this little duo. And the greatest part is, this yarn comes in even more shades. So, I'm going to be working on one in this really cute blue. This is the light blue speckle. I already started on this, so it's kind of attached over there, but um, this is the bubblegum speckle, that pretty pink. And then if I can get my hands on, um, I think there's two or three other colors, I'll be making the bears in those colors too, because these are just too cute. And once you get the hang of it, they really do work up easily. I know this video is a little long, but I hope it helps those of you who just kind of need help with placement of everything and how to really attach all those parts. So I hope you enjoy. Again, pattern is on repeatcraftermy.com.